Another cold front is pushing through for your Tuesday, bringing us the return of rain chances and another shot of cooler temperatures. I'm meteorologist Vanessa Lanza with your UF weather forecast. We currently have one cold front just to the south of us, continuing to linger over South Florida. And we have this second cold front that's just bringing a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico into the southeast, especially the Florida Panhandle. All of that moisture is heading in our direction, so get the umbrella and rain gear handy because you will be needing them throughout the day. We are waking up this morning to temperatures in the 40s with rain chances increasing, so it's going to be a wet Tuesday morning commute, and it's just going to continue throughout the day today with numerous to widespread rain showers possible. The cloud cover and the rain will only keep high temperatures today below average in the 50s for highs. Here's the breakdown city by city 56 for you Gainesville 54 for you Ocala 57 for both the villages into Crystal River 56 for both Cross City into Cedar Key as well for you Live Oak Lake City and Stark you'll be topping out today at 54 degrees. So here is the latest future track. We are expecting around the rush hour to get a little bit of a lull around the I-75 corridor heading into Gainesville or out of Gainesville into Ocala, but it's not going to last for long. Models are picking up another round of some heavy downpours after lunchtime into the afternoon. We're not expecting much in terms of strong storms or thunderstorms, but be prepared to have those moderate to heavy downpours at times in the afternoon. By 10 o'clock, the cold front should be out of here. The rain should be out of here, leaving us behind with mostly cloudy skies. But sky should clear up as we wake up on Wednesday morning with some chilly temperatures and a northwesterly wind with those lows around the upper 30s. And we're going to be waking up to temperatures in the 30s for the next few mornings. High temperatures in the afternoon in the 60s will slowly get back up to near 70 degrees on Saturday before another cold front in the weekend.